So, we're going to make another construction office over here. And uh, I think I'm probably going to put it... Give me a 24 vehicle office. I was thinking about putting it at the top of the hill here. I think it'd be okay to do that. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about maybe getting in the way of a town, but if I do it right here, it should be okay. Uh, I think it's though, it, the problem I'm running into is like, it's going to mess up this track. Um, so the track probably needs to be made first so that it doesn't mess it up. So I guess if we're going up the hill as, as gradual as this is, or if we're going up the hill, and it would be about like this, right? We're not going over the road. Might have been a better idea, but okay. We're not going over the road. Uh, so we'll, we'll submit that. They are building this segment, it looks like. Are you just waiting to... Okay, you're phasing through each other. That's how. They are building this segment, so I won't be able to, you know, get rid of these marks, but that's okay. Um, as long as the construction office will fit here, which it should have, but you know, again, when the track's in, now it's now it's uncertain. So uh, I might have to do two of the 16s instead, or one. I guess one 16 would be better, but need flat terrain. Yeah, I need a smaller. I need a couple smaller office. We'll do like a 16. Oh, you still won't work. Oh, interesting. How about two 12s? You can get away with two 12s, right? Yeah, you'll do two 12s. Okay, we'll do a 12 here. And then we'll do another 12 on this side. That'll be our construction offices. And this is going to provide more construction, you know, for this general area as we build it. So that they don't have to come from clear over there all the time. But in order for these guys to do that, we need the resources over here for them to use. So we have this aggregate drop-off here, right? And so what we're going to do with this aggregate drop-off is we're going to put in a couple of different things on some of these different roads. We're going to make more roads here too. So uh, this is already a gravel road. We'll probably pave it. Um, once we get the road crews in, we'll probably go ahead and pave it. Uh, but for this area, we, we have a lot of construction traffic that could potentially come through here. So I think what I want to do is I want to measure from this point about where the signals would be from here. And let me just measure this really quick from here. This looks like it's not long enough to me. That signal from here to... 172 but if you do end up being yeah the signal wouldn't end up being here if we end up going the other direction so we're not going the other direction it's fine yeah it's more than enough then okay so we'll have that and then uh what i think i want to do is i want to measure from here we go uh one 150 or so so it's gonna have to be like right here along the side of the the road which i guess is fine need this to go a little bit further so let's have this maybe cross the road here so i can get a feel for where the edge is up there should be good go like that okay so i think right near the road here we can go probably dirt uh, I'm sorry. We could go with the uh, the wood-based railway. It's, it doesn't need to be very expensive. I mean, we're making prefab panels for days, though, aren't we? So, never mind. Uh, we want a cargo station. Doesn't have to be very big. And the cargo station, I guess, could be right about here. That's, that's okay. Right about there should be fine. We do have to flatten it. This is going to be an end station anyway. So it'll be here and then what i need to do now is i need to get rid of this road because that's way too steep for the trains now right yeah it's way too steep navigating with this is is difficult because of the terrain so let's smooth this out all right smooth this out right here let's get this all to be maybe like level in this area we'll, we'll level it out here seems fine yeah, right here. Now, of course, that's pretty steep, but it's an end station, so it doesn't matter. So we'll make this level there. 
And then we'll say that you are going in, I think, right here instead. And then as long as you're level all the way out this way, it seems good. Yep. So right about there, end station. And now what we want is to get all of our construction materials for building things out here. So we can put in, for example, the flat storage, as long as I can actually have it. And it looks like I can. <laughs> kind of ridiculous what it's trying to do, but let's maybe bring it back down. You can do it. Come on. Give it a little rotation action here. There we go. And we want it to be right here if we can get away with it. God, this is really difficult. This hill is actually a little bit um, harder to manage than I expected it to be. Let's drop this down even more. Honestly, I'm at the point now where I'm about to just flatten this all the way up to hug the, hug the rail and everything. I'm just going to flatten it. I think so. We just do this. It'll take a bit, but sort of like you, you're driving past uh, a mining site and then it, it, the elevation of the of the mines and stuff is way lower than the road. No big deal. I'm going to go about here-ish. Should be okay to get the storage in. Here we go. And of course, we need to get the road in too. So how about we face it this way? That works for me. Is it about like it's an end station so I can block the rail? It's okay. That and then as long as the road can come out, it can. Okay. And then on this side, we're going to put in uh, a little warehouse for, you know, construction and everything. It doesn't need to be very big. We don't need very much stuff over here. So we'll just put in yeah, this little warehouse. This is fine. Come on. Fine with me. And uh, then we can go. Uh, I don't think we need gravel. We can just do the dirt. Uh, but cars are going to have to pick things up. All right, so we're going to have trucks coming in here to pick things up. So we might as well just do gravel. There we go. So they'll pick up the construction materials from here. And then the train is going to get that stuff from over here. So we're just using the same tracks we've already been using. And then what we want to do is measure again. See if we can't get the measurements right here. Put it there all the way to... That would be 150. And then from here to there is basically 300. I mean, it's it's a very close, it's a very tight fit here. But if we only do the one track, it might be okay. I don't really know if I want to only do the one track, though. I think so. It makes it easier to connect it everywhere. And then we can take it from, I guess, here. Pull this back. Do something like that. That way you can use either one if you'd like to. And I can still put... Nah, it's got to be longer. It's, it's got to be with that, that 150. We're going to be bringing stuff over here with distribution. So we're going to bring you all the way out. Maybe maybe we do this. Would this be okay? Coming from this side? That might be okay. Let me see if I can fiddle with this a little bit. I want to I want to get the measurements right and it might take me a bit. This video is admittedly a lot longer than I had planned because things are not quite as smooth as I thought they would be going into this. Uh, but I do want to hit the right buttons. I, I do want to kind of plan out the spacing here just a little bit better. OK, so the main issue that I'm having here is that this rail from here to here is only 250. So I, I don't have the ability to have a train waiting and then, you know, to get in here and wait and not be on the main track. That part's not there. However, what I can do is use the same intersection here to, to get in here. So I could maybe turn this into like, say, four tracks, for example. So rather than doing this break off here, what we can do is do the break off and then have it break off again. And so the, the trains will just choose. And then that way they can sort of queue up outside of this area here is what i'm thinking so uh well we'll go and take this away and then we'll do something like this we're gonna say that this doesn't connect here anymore this doesn't connect here anymore pull this up pull this up 
Okay, and we're going to kind of do sort of a makeshift uh, construction area junction here, I guess. Uh, just something that goes a little bit like uh, a little bit like this is what I'm thinking. So we go out. Uh, can I have the snap or no? Yeah, something like this. Goes out like that. Goes out like that. Okay, and then this will... Oh, this will follow the track. Follow the track. Yep, go out like this. Okay, and so while that's happening, though, they will also go out like this. All right, so we have basically two separate intersections. As long as they are considered the same intersection, everything is fine, right? And this is how we'll solve that spacing issue. That will allow me to have trains queue up and not be in the main intersection. So they'll just kind of be their own thing, and that's okay with me. Uh, we're using the cheap tracks here because they're already supposed to be slowed down by now anyway. And then uh, we can bring this all the way up like this. And then uh, at 150, which I think was about here, we could simply have the crossing be... Uh, I didn't really want it to be on the turn here. Yeah, like about like this. Let's have a crossing here. And that again, this, this will allow a construction crane train to queue up in this area without interfering with, you know, the rest of the track going this way. So it's a lot more track. But it's the cheap stuff. That's okay. Yeah, cheap stuff here, cheap stuff here, all the way up there. Okay, so that's going to be our our system here for delivering construction resources into here. Now, we also, of course, we already have this. That's going to be delivering coal. But we can also use it to deliver gravel. So we can go into our aggregates. And let's do maybe a 2,000 gravel. 2,000 gravel might be overkill for this area. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, we're using a lot of trains and stuff, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe it's maybe it's not. Um, we need an elevator to lift this up, though, so we're going to want to use one of these conveyor engines. And let's get one of these conveyor engines. Let's get rid of this road here. I said I had to tear down the road, but yeah, we'll do something like this. If I can get that road be a little more favorable for me, we'll lift it up a little bit, too. It'll be about like this. I'll be fine. Make sure that the roads can get connected. We can always go behind this too. I say that, but maybe I can't. Yeah, we can go behind this. Have it go this way. Perfect. And then all this stuff can just meet up this way instead. Okay, so from here, we want to be able to, of course, get into a storage area in here. So I'm, I was thinking 2000, I think would be better. And then I wanted to aim that direction, right? Yeah, the the high out on this needs to aim that direction. I have no idea if the spacing will allow me to do this. That's um, kind of what I'm thinking here. I'm, I'm not sure if I can actually pull this off or not. Uh, right about here. If I lift that up, is that going to mess with my storage? Getting awful close. <laughs> Looks like it'll work. There. Can I do this? Will you let me? Please let me connect across this road. Oh, come on. Let me connect across this road. I can do that, but I still can't can't get it to drop down over the road. That's the problem. So this road has to be out of the way. I mean, I think we can probably do that. As long as this road is connected on this side, then it doesn't really need to go through. So it really just needs to connect directly. Can I just do that? If we're not going to put a road here, if there's no through road, then there's no reason for this. Right? You can just go straight. Like You can just do this. If we're not putting a road through here. Because you, you guys are connected here. And then... This side can just go that way. And it's done. Yeah, that takes care of everything. Good. We're, we're fine. I mean, everything is... <laughs> I mean, everything is real tight. You can you got stuff kind of over top of our storage potentially here. Um, I'd like to maybe mark it for deletion real quick and then cancel and see if that fixes it later. But I don't know. Uh, but this gives us gravel, and gravel is important because gravel gets us the ability to locally create asphalt. Concrete, still not yet. That is not going to be over here. Um, I can maybe get cement brought in, 
and then use use that to do concrete. So maybe we could look at hooking up cement on the trains. But if you see where we're doing that, it was never intended to have cement hooked up to the train. It's right here. There's just no way I'm getting that into the train. So we would have to create cement somewhere else, somewhere else in the Republic. Maybe over here where the coal is, uh, we can get coal and gravel over there. There's there's opportunities to get. I mean, coal is going to be carted in everywhere. So yeah, we could probably maybe get the coal from here and the gravel from here somehow move that around to make cement over here too and then at that point we could make concrete in this area but it's a lot of work to do that and it's a lot of people and stuff to do that too we can locally create asphalt i'm okay with that so we're gonna say that the asphalt plant is let's put it right over here put it about here it looks like it will actually connect wait could i If I, yeah, you'll connect straight all across the road like that. Cool. I did not expect that to be so easy, but that is awesome that it is. Okay. Well, um, if we're going to do that, then we'll have parking lots and stuff like that too. So this will be where the asphalt is stored. So we'll do that. And then the road for this would have to come, I guess we'll come straight out this way. We'll curve it little bit so it heads this direction and then we can just cross the tracks and meet up over here okay this gives us asphalt and then uh, we need storage for the bitumen so the bitumen storage i'm just gonna pop a little one right here this looks kind of cool actually if i put it right here yeah that's pretty neat i like it and then we need a little parking lot because there's only five people that need to work here. So just a really small parking lot. We'll take care of that. Six cars, more than enough. Even fit right here. Oh yeah, done. People can work asphalt. Okay, and then we can get uh, bitumen brought in here. Now to do that, we've got the oil and fuel unloading here. This was going to be liquid fertilizer. I was thinking about doing that, but it doesn't need to be. It could be something else. In fact, I could put something else here too. So I'm not going to put liquid fertilizer here. We're going to change it up. We didn't commit any resources to these pipes or anything yet. So I can just tear all these pipes down. Yep. And uh, now I can run a long liquid pipe from here and bring it over here. And just like that, the exact same train connection that's bringing us fuel will now bring us bitumen so we can create asphalt because we have a lot of roads to make, right? We're out in the country. We're spread out. That means lots of very long roads everywhere, uh, especially if we're going to go with uh, personal cars and everything. So we need lots and lots of roads. All right. Crossing the tracks over here. Uh, this is over here near the neighborhood here uh, because we're going to put some stuff in this area. I've been kind of trying to space it out appropriately. And uh, we're going to bring the path with the lights. I think it'll look great. Uh, and we're going to drag in opposite directions so that the lights end up going on the outside. There we go. About like that ought to do it. Very good. Uh, and then it gives me, of course, a way for all of this to connect with the road and have that crossroad and all that. It's like that's fine. Okay. So that gives me walking paths in this area. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add, I guess, mostly, you know, jobs for people, but also, you know, they need other things other than just jobs like culture. So here's a cinema, for example, we'll add a cinema right here next to the road. No issues. Uh, I don't know about that distance. I think maybe that's a little bit too close. I'm going to back the walking path up just a tad here and try to get it a little bit close a little bit further away sorry maybe even going like this would be better this side uh i'm trying to get them to go off this road so i, I need to get things that they want to go to uh to satisfy their needs have it be off of other uh off of different streets and stuff so uh, i think it's probably going to be this one now this building really doesn't need a whole lot in terms of like deliveries so we probably don't even need that road connection um, so I'm thinking maybe I put it like this instead. How about right here? 
That could be where our cinema is. And then for the lights, we should have them on the outside. So let's see which direction that is. Going this way is not the right way. So we need to start from this side. There we go. And then bring it towards it like that. And then you should be that way is good. Yep, like that. And then like that. So that hooks up the walking paths around here to all of these things too. Do people cross the tracks? Absolutely. Kids do it all the time. Okay. Where I grew up, we walk across the tracks all the time. I mean, obviously not when there's a car there or when there's a train there. Sorry. Not when there's a train there. Of course, you know, like, you pay attention to that. But you walk, we walk across the tracks all the time. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do here, I haven't done this um, in a long time. I think it was the stream series is when I done it because I don't actually think I've used this building yet in this entire Republic. This is the City Hall accounting office. Uh, there's really not a serious need for this building. But what it does is it gives you area specific stats instead of Republic wide stats. And that's generally a good thing to have, especially for, you know, doing personal cars and everything through here. I kind of want to see what that's all about and what it's uh, specifically how we're doing in this uh, specific region. I guess I'm going to say specific a lot today. So um, what I like to do is I'm going to add these uh, this walking path out like this, and then we're going to connect it here. I uh, connect it here uh, or not. I feel I'll have to go out just a little bit wider. It looks like um, maybe I don't even need the, I don't think I need the lights. I'm going to connect this here and here. Uh, this is going to give us the connections for, you know, the cinema and everything. And it kind of, I don't know, it gives us stuff. I like it. So this is going to give us the cinema here and then the city hall here. We don't need anything delivered to these buildings. So basically walking paths are fine and then in this area because walking paths are fine we could do other things like this aerodrome here which would be really cool for uh just like people having fun maybe we could put it over here like this uh we can also fit this place out with some soviet monuments because they are uh city hall and stuff it's you know buildings for propaganda and everything so as they walk past the cinema get propagated if that's a thing propaganda right we're gonna get them in there uh, and then i really don't think i yeah like is there any can i get another fountain in here i just think it would be cool to have another fountain in here yeah like right here would be okay i think yeah no, another fountain one fountain basically yeah one fountain right here i think would be pretty cool let's put a fountain right here and then we'll just have like a quick little i guess dirt connection would be fine for these we don't need anything specific for that and then, uh, how about, uh, you know, another red star. You can't have enough of these stars. These red stars are so good. You just can't have enough of them. Like you got to build them and they just work really, really well for getting people loyal. Uh, so for loyalty stuff is good. I'm thinking I'm going to put one right over here, which I don't know if it affects the entire neighborhood. It might be good to put it a little bit closer. I guess I could probably fit it right here. Yeah, we'll put, you can put it right here, as long as it's connected to the road. Got to connect to the walking path. We'll do it maybe, maybe like this instead. And then if we do that and we bring you like that, that works. So does that get everybody? Kinda. Not quite everybody, but it does a lot. If we if we accelerate this, yeah, I can't do words today. Words are terrible. If we upgrade this. Then can you get more people? Yeah, you can get more people with that. Okay, so almost got enough. That's okay, because we can always add more. More red stars are good. They're super good. Another red star over here. Anyone? Yeah? Right there. I like it. Bop. And then uh, maybe another one over on this side. In this little space here. I know you're like thinking to yourself, why doesn't he just do some a diverse range of things, you know? Uh, okay, we can do some diversity. Cool. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just the red star is the best one. So I just do the best one. Uh, these little tiny things here are pretty good at getting loyalty too, or keeping people loyal. You can put one right there. That is awesome. Yep. Doing that. Uh, what else can we do? Let's have a, a really big fountain right over here because it looks good. I don't know. I don't know what else to put over here in this little area. I guess more houses could work. I'm just going to have maybe maybe a parking lot. Just 
extra cars people can walk to and start driving. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, this, this would be fine because then you'd have... The thing is, like, all the houses kind of have enough parking already. So you're getting to the point now where maybe these would just be places where people park to go to school or park to go to sports, go to... Yeah, that, that could be a thing. They go to the supermarket. They're going to park over here to go to the supermarket. So I suppose there is merit in having another parking lot over here. But I would like it to be on a different road and not this one. So if I'm doing this, it needs to be... Yeah, kind of like this. It needs to be off of a secondary road here. I think, I think, yeah, like this would be fine. Something like that. And then uh, for the walking path stuff... Can we have a gravel path that goes right behind here? That would be sweet. I think that would look pretty good. I'm going to just take level terrain from center here real quick and just... Ooh, that's a little bit tight. That was a bit aggressive. Let me maybe pull that back just a little bit. And we'll pull it out like this. That's good. And then we'll also bring it back in. There we go. Cool little shoreline like this. And then we just get like a, a little path. Yeah, that walks right along the water, man. Got to do it. Yep. I, I can. I love that. That's great. And it goes right up to that bus stop too. Shifting our attention to gravel. Remember how I told you before? I said it a couple of times, right in the very beginning. You can never have enough gravel. Don't let anyone tell you differently. You can never have enough gravel. Well, we've been building so much stuff over there. We're pretty damn close to being out of gravel. We went through 5,000 tons of it. And uh, we don't have a whole lot left. So, might be a good idea. To start looking at getting additional trucks into the quarries. And maybe if we can keep up with that. Which doesn't look like we can. Quarried stone is the is the bottleneck here and we're still on the b252s the really old big 25 ton trucks which is completely fine for this workflow because you get a maximum 25 tons in a truck and then they just bring it in here and dump it off but might be a good idea to get another quarry going potentially because we don't have enough quarried stone to make this happen right i mean if i stop building things then fine but all the roads we've been building, tons of them, right? Asphalt takes gravel. Concrete takes gravel. All this stuff is taking us like all, like all the train tracks take gravel, right? So it's, it's, uh, we've been using a lot of it. That's why I said you can never have too much. Um, so we might, uh, we might run out for a little while. All the helicopters getting it. It might happen. We'll see. <laughs> The train track is nearly to the train station, which is sweet. Uh, to end this video, because I haven't done it yet, and uh, I think it's time to take it a bit more seriously and see if we can't get it done. I have yet to see any vehicle go and scrap itself. Haven't seen it happen yet. So, you can see from all the specs that I go to the history nothing and i think it's just because i'm telling it to get wear and tear it at 80 percent, which is is like it hardly ever gets there because especially with the construction vehicles they're usually higher than that so i'm gonna start dropping the wear and tear i'm gonna go down to 50 percent we're gonna see how many trucks how many old vehicles decide to go and scrap themselves for the 50 percent requirement now i would love for a lot of these vehicles to do it because like this one right here is going to the scrapping facility right now. There we go. But this guy's going to go scrap himself. I would love for a lot of my construction vehicles to do this. Because my construction vehicles, right? I mean, they have to travel long distances. They're slower. They're just old, right? So definitely want that to happen. So I'm going to start maybe lowering the requirements for, you know, getting automatic replacements. And then we should see the money start going down at that point too. Um, I mean, it looks like we're selling things now, but... We should start seeing the money go down a little bit here uh, over time. This cistern here is, these things are awesome. Um, this guy, what are you doing? You're just trying to buy waste, but you can't because you can't. Oh, right. I, I, I eliminated your, your stop. That's right. 
you're supposed to go here and you're supposed to unload the waste here that's why you don't have a stop anymore well there you go and then probably that's happening to this over and over here too isn't it yeah you don't have a stop anymore granted you also don't have any hazardous waste anymore but periodically it does you know there's there's waste available every once in a while but it's uh not a very reliable way of getting getting waste all right, so we should start seeing some vehicles park themselves in here any minute. There we go. A couple of uh, the dumpers. A couple of the old dumpers have arrived, and that should trigger new replacements to be purchased from somewhere. They get it from over here. Replacements should have been purchased. They, it's possible they were already purchased at the moment of uh, of them leaving. I think this this meat truck here needs to be. Uh, this meat truck is pointless be honest because it's we're getting this with the trains now so we don't even need this distribution office over at the border anymore i just haven't bothered to change my old ways so here's my history here so three vehicles have decided to uh come on in here including one of the bz252 dumpers so that's not great i wanted to keep those things but that's okay we're replacing it remember so we're just gonna get brand new ones uh, brand new trucks that are hopefully up to the specs that I chose uh, in a previous video. And they'll come down here and they'll get worked on. That's great. I think, again, might have there might be some merit in getting another quarry put in here. Very possible that another quarry would do some good stuff for us. And, uh, you know, you can't get a whole lot, but 73, 74, not bad. I've seen worse. We'll add another quarry right here and uh we'll put it put it over here and then we just need to get mechanisms and stuff for that too but we'll just we'll just place another one and then as long as we can get this a steady stream of you know quarry stone in here there we go maybe that's not even necessary it's hard to tell sometimes what the bottleneck is At the moment i guess i would say lack of trucks going to this need more trucks going to this right so i'll have to work that out so that we can get more gravel in because we're using way more than we uh we're just using way more than i thought we would so just so much gravel and then here's the farms again let's check on this really quick and then we can end the video there I just want to see how the workflow is going here we have 10 vehicles only that are going to this spot I'm just removing 10 trucks from this flow which might be enough i'm trying to balance this out so that it's not super inconvenient. Balance it out so that everything runs, you know, according to plan here. That's at least according to my plans. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't look like it's too bad. You know, there's obviously some trucks that are stopping, but it doesn't seem like it's too bad. It's not at the moment. I'll have to keep an eye on that a little bit more.
Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse. Um, it is December 14th, 1987. We're at 17 million in the bank. There's a few things kind of going on with, you know, the town over there, but I kind of tried to show you some of it. Uh, one of the cool things that's just happened is that the second food factory has uh, built and uh, the people who are being brought over, you know, to various different places, I, the, basically the same people that are being brought to this here, uh, a lot of them walk over here too. So we're getting less people working in the oil refinery. I haven't decided how I feel about that other than the fact that we have a full tank of fuel here. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. I have stopped sending it to the train. So the train's just going to sit over here for a bit. Uh, I stopped sending it there just because I noticed that. But uh, we do have a full, you know, a full tank of fuel. So I guess it's kind of fine. I did go with, of course, replacing a lot of the vehicles. And so my fuel rats are, you know, kind of new and improved here. They're a little bit faster, a lot of it faster. They can hold more fuel, etc. As a comparison of the old one, 70 kilometers an hour can hold 11 tons. Uh, of oil these guys here can do 95 and hold 16 so that is just a flat upgrade in every way you look at it there uh yeah what else has happened uh we replaced a lot of different vehicles here too so a lot of the the old bz252s are getting replaced uh, as far as gravel goes give you a quick update on that we're at 790 tons in there which is not bad um i did add two additional dump trucks into the mix here but unfortunately because this route says wait until loaded it does tend to block this guy from being able to get fuel this one doesn't get a problem with that because fuel is delivered here so i need to get my fuel rats to deliver fuel there unfortunately fuel rats have no connections left so that leaves this distribution office to do it so this distribution office can go ahead and give fuel to this building here and in the meantime i'm just gonna have to tell this guy to move because this dude just goes and gets fuel and then he runs out so that's just the way it goes so we'll go ahead and do that i think probably this distribution office it does have a lot of routes nope sorry this one yep it does have a lot of routes in here that involve delivering fuel has kind of been uh my supplement for delivering fuel and stuff so uh the last slot that's in here i haven't couldn't decide what i wanted here uh but i have decided now what i want here and uh, we are going to go ahead and do an oil tanker, and it is going to be this oil tanker here. So go ahead and grab that. We can now deliver fuel more places at once. I think that'll probably be pretty good. Probably. Probably be pretty good. Yeah, I can speak. I can't speak. I'm very tired today. <laughs> I mean, it is currently 1.30 in the morning for me. Yeah, I've been playing this since uh, 9.45. Yes. <laughs> been a I've been a few hours but we got a lot done here okay I got the power transformer built here although it doesn't have a power supply because the high voltage line is not hooked up so you might remember we we hooked up a 10 megawatt from the from the other connection brought it over here so there's 10 megawatt capacity over here uh at the switch anyway and then uh from this point what I think I want to do because we got a lot of other stuff we want to do here uh this switch needs to bring power down this way as well so i think i want to put another high voltage switch probably right after this construction office i think probably right here would be okay place maybe right here would be fine yeah i'm gonna pop that in there is this all dirt still it is so i need to get this stuff paved and stuff too uh, i think we'll maybe start with that road get that paved with some asphalt as we go and then what i want to do even though it's a little sloppy because i got kind of got stuff in the way here but it's fine uh we're gonna take and do a five megawatt into here and we're gonna actually actually bring it around and do this nope i don't want to get in the way of that other thing so we're going to go like this and bring it around like so so we're gonna give this basically five megawatt and then the other one is gonna get another seven i think it's just gonna get a little extra power there i realize they both can't work at maximum capacity but this one is going to have, you know, the industry and stuff that are going with it too. So we're just going to run this underground. Uh, well, we don't have to run it underground. We could technically get away with running it underground only to here and then do it above ground. But like, again, it's kind of, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. And I, I think it's fine. I can afford the, the extra cost than it is to just 
run that right there. That's no big deal. Uh, so it just makes this as short as possible. There we go. And that's going to provide seven underground all the way out to this high voltage switch here. For which we can then get another power transformer that can serve all these people over here. So that's no big deal. We can probably get that to be, uh, I think, probably along the road about here. That'd be fine. And then, of course, this is a switch, so we can then direct power kind of any way we want. But this is just going to be another power transformer that we use to... Actually, I could probably put it over here. You know what? I think probably over in this area would be better. Maybe... Mm, I don't know where my... I don't know where stuff's going to be yet. That's the thing. But I need power to these things. But I don't know where everything else is going to be. So how about we compromise in this case. And we'll put a little... We'll put a power transformer right here. On the other side of this road. Go ahead and flatten the strain a little bit there. There we go. We'll do it like this instead. We'll get rid of this. And then we'll say that... Uh, we'll, we'll put five right here. It's the, the lowest we have for high voltage underground. Unless I want to go above ground, which over here wouldn't be such a big deal. So, tell you what. We'll go cheaper. We'll go above ground right here. Ooh, we got that train track in the way. I don't think that's going to be an issue there. Nah. There we go. In fact, can I just... Can I put it straight over there? Do I even need that connect, extra connector? Yeah, I do. Well, since I need the post anyway, I might as well put it a little bit closer. Got to keep it out of the way from anything else. So, And there we go. Okay. That's going to provide power to all this area over here. It is winter, of course. I, I let it run for quite a while. I needed to get some progress done on all the stuff we've been building. So, um, not sure what I've cut out. So, I'll just give you a summary here. We do have quite a bit of stuff. The bistro is over here, right? A parking lot over there for maybe some extra cars or whatever. Secret police, right? That kind of thing. Uh, the trains have finished the track out to the station. This isn't powered yet, of course. Uh, that's going to require our power lines here to get built. I don't think I actually put the helicopters on that, so I will. Uh, as far as other things that can be built, obviously the Okean. Okean? 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 I don't exactly know how to say it, but uh, yeah, that stuff hasn't gotten any. Uh, we need workers out here. Let's do Cernakova workers. We need more workers from Cernakova to come out here and help us. All of these walking paths and things. Like, I need all of these done too. So just mark these in, get these going, hopefully. Maybe we'll even get Charlevin's labor out here to help with these too. Why not? It's not like they're doing anything, right? Bunch of slackers uh that's it yeah i think that's that's kind of the summary here most of the houses are done as you can see parking lots have been mostly established we've got the football playground we got this the carousel here the red star monument is done so we have plenty of loyalty look at the uh, look at the buildings that this thing affects every single residential building is affected by that star even though it's way over there it still reaches all the way over here love it red star is so good uh, yeah, all the parking lots are going to be through there. We've got the city hall there. The cinema is not really built yet. You know, the uh, water treatment plant's done. We will need a route that takes chemicals and, and delivers it here. And then, of course, chemicals are also going to be delivered to our uh, water treatment plant as well. Those chemicals would just get delivered into this extra warehouse, right? I, I want this warehouse that's connected to the store to be purely for stuff for the store. So everything else that needs to be delivered to this area will then go into this warehouse. And then the trucks can pull things out of this warehouse and uh, do the thing it needs to do. Real quick refresher for myself anyway. Uh, this has two spots for vehicle loading. Fantastic. Better than this one. The one. Silly. Only one spot to load. Big warehouse. Huge. All this. Only one spot to load a vehicle. Silly. Who is designing this? Who's responsible for this? Uh, as far as the tracks on this area, right? Tracks are going uh, pretty well. They've reached, uh, well, yeah, they're, they're getting out into this area, which is pretty nice. We'll finally start to be able to utilize trains to bring the fertilizer in here instead of all the trucks going back and forth. A lot of the traffic that goes back and forth on this main road here it are the garbage trucks that are bringing the fertilizer over to here. So uh, I'd like the trains to start doing that if I could. That's something I'll have to look at later too. And uh, I think that's it. I think that pretty much covers everything that happened during the time lapse. Um, over here, check out our steel. We are loaded, baby. 
We got so much steel, we don't even know what to do with it all anymore, man. This is this is a wild amount of steel right here. Let's just kind of, yeah, dedicate you to steel nothing but. There you go. Just an enormous amount of steel. Helicopters have steel for everything they would ever need. Uh, what they don't have, though, is access to fuel there on that pad. That might be a good idea. We do have fuel here, though, so they should be all fueled up. Assuming. They should be all fueled up before they leave to go get the steel anyway, so... Uh, yeah, so all I have to do basically is get them to work is to give them something else to deliver resources to and I thought you know Once this place is up and running, you know we Get all this going we should probably maybe get some of the houses over here going uh, To make sure that there's enough labor for everybody in here and then once that happens I'm thinking I kind of want to start hooking up All this oil and I've, I've changed my mind. I was gonna route all of this oil Right, all the way out. And I think we were doing the same thing. Uh, yeah, all, all this oil was going to get routed into here to process it. Where, where'd it go? To process it, right? And, yeah, I mean, we could. if I Once I get enough labor in here, that'll probably be a good idea, right? So I was, I'm still considering it. But the other thing I could do, really, is just set up another refinery over here. And then just have, like, you know refineries i mean there's a lot of pump jacks over here that's a lot of piping just oh a big long pipe off that way we have the money to do it though that's the only reason why i kind of i'm making excuses on it like i have the money to run pipes from like the one border to another at this point so it's not that big of a deal but i thought from a passive revenue stream we could also hook up the pump jacks directly and just make a border connection right here right just hook up these pump jacks and just send the oil direct no questions asked but ultimately i do think the fuel is going to be uh better for us it's just the, the problem is one of the reasons why i'm considering this is just because we don't have the labor anyway you know like look at this it's full it's full it's not full i guess we we are kind of maybe we're eating into it finally but it looks like we kind of are but then also you know this thing gets loaded by a truck too a truck will sit in here and do it too we definitely don't need this many chemical plants right i mean we we don't have the labor and hardly any of these we're, we're definitely not utilizing these like we should uh so i probably could maybe stop working like this one here i could shut this one off for example shut this one off for example and then they'll all flood into the other ones instead we'll just work two of them instead that's probably better. I think the machine wear and tear only goes down when the place is used. So that would eliminate that, right? And uh, we certainly have enough chemicals to last a very long time. So we're not hurting on chemicals either. We could start selling chemicals, I suppose, at the border. That would that would pick it up the pace, wouldn't it? If I went into the cargo train station, I said load chemicals, right? And then I came over to the border and I said, you're allowed to sell chemicals. We'll start getting trains generated that'll sell chemicals at the border. 80, 81 tons of chemicals going out now, uh, which is pretty good. And then, of course, now we have more space to store the chemicals that we're making. So I probably should start those exports. Uh, and because of the extra food factory that's up now, I have started. I have I have reignited the uh, the exports for food as well. So now we are selling food at the border as well, and that will just make our money go up, 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 up and away, right? So we're up to 18 million in the bank now. I have no problems with that. It's it's really about getting done what I want to get done now. Now is the part of the game where I have the freedom to kind of explore and express how I want the Republic to be. And I have the resources to do that, provided I can get the construction done. So I think in the next video, because this is done now, all right, these two construction offices here are done. We're definitely going to want to outfit these with roughly the same kind of assortment of vehicles that we had before. So we're going to want to take and say, for example, this one could be the building crew, right? The, the people who build things a lot. So we're going to need a couple of dumpers in here, at least. So let's just go for the total capacity on these. I think we just, yeah, 92 and 17 seems good. Uh, we'll go with red, I suppose. So we'll go one, two... I think maybe just two. I think just, yeah, maybe. Okay, three. We'll go three dumpers. Uh, and then we don't need any concrete mixers. We're going to need a couple of covered hulls, although they don't have to be very large. So I can probably get by with... Uh, let's do these ones. Can I be red? 
Can't be red. Can you be red? These are the farm ones. I don't want to do that. Uh, I can't. I can't get any red ones. There. This one's red. All right. Uh, we'll go with uh, say two covered halls, and then we need a bunch of open halls too at max capacity. These these T eight thirteens are awesome. Uh, we can go red there too. One, two, three, four. Four is good. I forgot how many vehicles can fit in these offices. This is a sixteen, right? Or is it, are these the twelves? I think these are the twelves. They are okay. So um, we can't give you a, a source of workers yet. So all the workers will just end up getting delivered by the helicopters for now, or by the other offices and stuff. This is mostly for delivering resources for a lot of other stuff that we're going to be doing. In this office, we're going to take and have our dumpers again. One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, four would be fine. Five. Let's go. Uh, and then we're going to say that we want two rollers, one, two rollers, two asphalt pavers, at least. Uh, we'll do a, a bulldozer, you know, for the times when we have, you know, just asphalt or yeah, we'll probably do two bulldozers actually here. I like, I just did three bulldozers. So that's, I guess that's fine. Uh, we're going to need an excavator too. So let's ah, see. So I, I messed up on that. Uh, probably an excavator for you. In fact, I'm going to need another office. I don't have it. I don't have enough offices. We'll do two excavators in this office then to make up for it. Um, and then I think that's it. A road crane could be good, but like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think, I think I'm fine there on vehicles. Um, we'll put them in the same group anyway. So like, they'll just take everything. I'll put them on auto search for everything in this area. And they'll just handle whatever job comes at them with the vehicles that they have. I'm all right with that. And then the office that has, you know, the extra bulldozers and stuff. Uh, I guess that doesn't really have any flat hall covered halls, do they? Or open halls. We don't have any open halls over there. Um, instead of delivering fuel here, fuel is just down the road. So I guess these guys, when they need to fuel up, they'll just head down here and pop themselves into the gas station that's down here. That's fine. Um, yeah, so that's it. We have, uh, you know, this train station is done, but the rail isn't. So we need the rail in here first. And then this open storage is good. We can limit, start limiting the supply here. Make sure no aluminum comes here. Make sure we don't do any wood, no aluminum, uh, uranium oxide, no waste. And then we just sort of bias this towards prefab panels, and bricks, and, uh, maybe a little boards, but. That's probably good. About, about this balance is fine with me, I think, here for what we're building. Yeah, this is okay. Um, yeah, we need the gravel delivered. This rail isn't done yet, so still working on that, right? So I'm just going to let it run, and that's good. Yeah, I'm all right with that. We're nearly 20,000 people, and I'm okay with going over 20,000 people now. I'm completely fine with that now because we have two food factories and enough crops to last the entire year. So we're good. <laughs> I don't have any problems with crops anymore. So uh, no no need to, to worry about food for the foreseeable future as long as we can keep up with other stuff like clothing, which we shouldn't have a problem with because we have two clothing factories. So that's easy. Meat is still imported by train. So we're going to be good on that for the foreseeable as well. Uh, and nothing else is really electronics, which we are still importing from the border. It's expensive. Uh, we probably just did because I had 18 and then, you know, just imported a million dollars worth of vehicles. That's what happened. Um, so yeah, we, we just need to get more labor over into here. So that comes with the expansion of, you know, this area, the Dniprio flats are a big contributor to that. Hopefully the 102 people without a job need to do that. A lot of people without a job right here. So I think most of our unemployment rate is probably right here, which is a little odd, but all they need to do is get a passenger train to come here and then I can pick all these guys up. So. I think that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'll just do that between videos. I'll, I'll configure another passenger train. In fact, I think I already have it, don't I? I sure do. I did this a long time ago and I completely forgot. You're going to stop here. You're going to pick people up. There you go. And then you're going to drop them off right over. Uh, actually, I want you to drop them off in here, actually, so we can start working these other things. But that's not really in the cards just yet. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just have you unloaded over here. Okay, so one train that just does this for a bit. Cool. Cool. I think that'll be cool. All right. And then I can just tell you guys to go ahead and you can work there now. Workers are allowed at the train station now. And so they all should 
rush over to the train station now. And they'll be like, okay, you said we could work here. And I meant it. I did. I, I mean it. You can come over here and work. It's good. I've also noticed that my rail network loop is almost complete. And I'm really excited about that because that's what I need to do in order to uh, begin electrifying the side. Check this out. The tunnels, both sides of the track on this curve, right? And the tunnels are completely done all the way up to here. So now it's just a matter of getting these tracks done, which the only reason they're not done is because I disabled them because I didn't want the track builders tying up this intersection. But now uh, I definitely want them to tie up this intersection go ahead and finish your job if you can. And uh, they're already par partially done with both of these two. So uh, once they get out to this side, this loop gets becomes complete and trains can just go around if they need to, to get around basically anywhere. So that when I shut down this intersection, for example, to, uh, you know, to redo the track and electrify everything, they can go this way to get to steel, which is a little bit further away, but at least they can get there. Uh, and then once all this is electrified, we can then have electric trains going through here while we electrify everything else, right? And it just, it gives you that redundancy in the loop, uh, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, we also have this, I'll, <laughs> I'm sorry, this video is long. I just can't stop showing you things. I can't stop playing this right now at two o'clock in the morning. Um, this is basically done. All I have to do is click click the button for like two or three seconds and this is gonna connect. So this is already down basically sea level, but I'm waiting to do this, like ceremoniously waiting to do this until we have like this area done. Cause there's no point in doing it anyway until this stuff is done anyway. So once this starts getting up and running, I, I think probably that needs to be complete so we can buy ships. And then at least this needs to be complete along with everything connected to it so we can start shipping things out to the western border should be great uh, and then we need the pumping harbor done too so that we can uh you know have fuel for our ships and none of that stuff is even close to done so okay i think that's everything uh i'm sorry about this all taking so long and not being organized but i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway all the same thanks for watching i appreciate you the intersection started now too which is great see you next time Bye bye